G'day guys, it's Al here from Al and Imo Handmade and today I'm going to show you how to make this cool chest of drawers. We designed this so our baby change tray fits on top, but it can be removed and then used as a standalone piece forever. As this is a DIY, we simplified the drawers to make it easy as possible for you guys to have a crack at home. You can access all of the materials, measurements and detailed step-by-step -step instructions for this project at alanimo.com.au The first thing you'll want to do is join your hardwood that will wrap the outside of your drawers. Join by using glue and clamps and set aside to leave to dry. To build your internal draw carcass, rip your timber to size using a table saw or circular saw with a guide. Cut your rips of timber that will be your draw slides. Give them a good sand making sure to only take off the arras of the front edge. Measure and evenly shoot your rails on using 20mm brad nails. Don't worry, all of the measurements and instructions are available online to guide you through this step. Join your tops, sides, back and base using glue and nails. Cut your hardwood kicker and mitre the corners. Join with glue and 32mm brad nails. Sand your edges and corners smooth. Place the draw carcass on top of your kicker, flush to the front. Measure, mark, countersink, pre-drill and join your carcass to the kicker using 30mm screws. The next step is to construct the drawers. Cut your ply to size and assemble the sides, front and base using glue and nails. Give these a good sand. Now it's time to add your hardwood. Measure and mark from the centre of your joined boards, rip it and cut it to size. Plane or sand off any saw marks left on the front edge. Dry fit your sides and top and make sure your pieces are fitting perfectly, then glue one side and clamp it into place. Mark and screw your hardwood to the carcass from the inside. Repeat with the other side, then with the top, making sure to use a fair amount of glue on the ends where the hardwood meets. Now that your top and sides are in place, it's time to add your draw fronts. It's always best to measure at this stage before cutting in case your measurements have adjusted slightly throughout the build. Place your first draw front into place and clamp. Measure, mark, countersink, pre-drill and screw your hardwood to the draw carcass. Repeat this step, adding one drawer on top of the other until you reach the top drawer. Now it's time to add the pull holes. Measure, mark and pre-drill your holes. Using a 25mm spade bit, drill from the inside halfway through and then switch and drill from the front. This is so you don't blow out the hole. Repeat for all the drawers and using sandpaper to finish off the holes. Sand your whole piece, making sure all of your joins are flush and smooth. We used a hard wax oil to seal our drawers. Once dry, we sanded the exterior and drawer fronts again and applied a second coat for that silky smooth finish. You can access the detailed step-by-step -step instructions and measurements for this project and many more at alanimo.com.au. Hope you've enjoyed this one guys and make sure to hit subscribe on us on our YouTube channel and sign up to our mail list to receive these DIY projects straight to your inbox. See you next Friday for another DIY project. Cheers guys.